Welcome everyone to my tutorial series of how to make a RuneScape private server. If you like this tutorial or want to see more videos, please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button and I'll see you guys in the video. In this tutorial, I've got something special for you guys, so let's get on with it. Okay, so now that we're in Eclipse, we need to open up objecthandler.java and we also need to open up this new file that we're going to make, which is com.feather.game.player.content.agility. We're going to make a new class called Wilderness Course Agility. We're going to open that, so make sure it's spelled exactly the way I've got it. Capital W, capital C, capital A, Wilderness Course Agility. All right, let's get on with it. This code is going to be very long, so hopefully you guys can stick through this whole video. So public static int get stage. All right, and we're going to do a player player. Or actually, we'll just have player P for short, just to get it a bit more um, cruising. Import that, please. And then we'll go integer. It's equal, I'm oh, sorry, integer stage is equal to integer, right? And then we're gonna go player dot get, oh, sorry, it's P. So we don't need to type in P, a player, we just type in P dot get attributes, right? So the temporary attributes, and then we wanna say get, right? And inside this get method, we wanna do wilderness course, agility and at the end of that semicolon right we want to go if stage is equal equal to null then we want to return minus one right and then we want to return the stage so return stage right so underneath this we need to type in the next thing which is public static void set stage oops Right, and we want to go player p, right, and int stage, which is our integer, and then we want to go player dot get temporary. Sorry, it's p again. Dot get temporary attributes dot put, and inside this put method, we want to type in wilderness, right course agility you can even have it as wilderness agility course but i just put as wilderness course agility for this tutorial and underneath this part here we want to type in stage right bang there's that set now the next thing that we need to do is a public static void remove stage right and we want to do this on player p open and close now inside this remove one, we need to go player dot get us. Oh, I keep typing player, don't I? P dot get temporary attributes. And then we want to say remove. So dot remove it. And we want to remove the wilderness agility course. Okay. Or wilderness course agility. Wilderness course agility. Okay. So once we've done that, we want to go down the next one and we'll do a public static double increase XP. So capital X and P, right? We want to do player P. So player P and we also want to do double total XP. Open and close. Oops, and I didn't do a double here, so you can see there's an error. Do a double. All right, so now that's going to work. What we need to do is we have to say if wilderness, right, dot is at wild, and we want to say at, at p, because that's the player, and we want to say p dot get equipment dot get gloves id is equal equal to 13849. And then we want to say total XP is e uh, sorry multiplied equal to 1.030, right? And then we would return the total XP, okay? So if we're wearing this item while we're in the wilderness, so it is true that the player is at the wilderness and we're wearing this item, we'll get more XP by doing this course only when we're doing this course because it's going to 
check the stages okay that's why we've got that all right now the next thing that we're going to do underneath that is we're going to learn to enter the wilderness i haven't done the animation for the gate so there's no animation for the gate but um that's done in object handler which you can do anyway i've showed you how to do this stuff just find the object id and set the stuff correctly it's not that hard um okay so anyways we'll just get on with this so it's agility so not agility has level oops dot is that gonna why is that not working oh sorry don't do that don't do that don't do that we need to actually do a new class or a new method or constructor or whatever all right so public static void enter wilderness course we want to do final right player player open and close on that we're going to say if and we say player does not so it's agility dot has level and we say player of 52 so if the player doesn't have level 52 we're going to return then we're going to go world object first gate oh my new world object and then we want to say six five three six five we want to do 10 we want to do one we want to do two double nine eight we want to do three nine one six so three nine one six and we want to do a zero and we want to put that at the end all right i'm not going to import the classes yet i'll do that shortly but the next thing we're going to do is a final world object right and we're going to say second gate is equal new world object we're going to do six five three six seven ten one two double nine eight three nine three zero zero bang right and once we've done that we want to go player dot set next world tile right and we want to say new world tile and we want to do that with first gate dot get x and we also want to do uh what's the next one after that hold on um sorry get x and then it should be first gate dot get y so first gate dot get y right and then we want to go plus one because we're going in the north direction zero there right once we got two of those we want to go player dot set next animation and we want to say a new animation right the new animation being 9908 right import both of those just to get them out of the way so it's not going to annoy us too much we're going to go player dot lock oops not that but lock and then we want to put inside this parentheses say an eight and that one closed up right we're going to do world tasks manager dot schedule and inside here we want to say new world task right we want to open and close one of those and open and close the curly bracket All right now inside this little part here we need to do an override so we need to do an at an override method and we want to do public void run right so we're going to run this method and we're going to say player dot set next weld tile and we want to say second gate right after uh, sorry underneath that we're going to go player dot set next animation right and we want to say new animation and we want to do a minus one and then we want to do the next one which is a weld tasks manager dot schedule and we want to do new world task we want to do the open and close again all that sort of jazz right and once we've got this one here like this we need to do another override method and we need to type in a public void run open and close with that 
I'm going to go player dot set next world tile, right? I'm going to say new world tile. I'm going to go second gate dot get x, and then you want to do second gate dot get y. We also want to do a plus one, a zero, bang, 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 and that's that. Okay, so let me double check over this code quickly. We are actually missing a line above this one here. So let's quickly add that. So it's player dot force movement. So set, uh, is it? Yeah, set next force movement. And we're going to go new force movement, right? Sorry, I forgot about this. We want to say second gate. We want to say eight. And then we want to go force movement dot north. Right? Control S and save that for two seconds. Now that we're back onto this, at this second one here, what we need to do is we're going to leave that right the way it is because that runs this code here but underneath this one here so the fourth one down we need to press that a seven and save it right uh it should have schedule in task world task hasn't imported so we're going to click on this if it doesn't import correctly and import that class now that's working as you can tell the integer one will not work at this stage until we've done more of this code because it's going to be required later on i believe it was okay so anyways getting back to the point after after this we need to do a public static void but what we'll do instead of doing that i want you guys to copy this section here down to that copy it paste it underneath all right and we're going to change this enter to exit and i'll show you which parts we're going to edit okay just to go over it quickly uh, to get this part out of the way. Okay, so on exit, we're going to be using the same stuff all the way down till we hit this part here. We want to change that to south, right? Control S and save. We're going to do player lock of 10. Yeah, 10 it is, right? And we want to do a plus on this. Where is the first run method? Yep. So up this part here, we're going to change this. See how it says set next world tile? We're going to go new world tile. Right. And then we're going to say first gate dot get x. And then we want to say first gate dot get y and then we want to do plus one that and zero did we put a final log up yeah we did so i want to make sure that it's correct should it be a final i'm pretty sure it is a final yeah it is it's a final second gate So we've got exit. Sorry, I'm just double checking over the code because I don't want any like issues. So exit, final player, player. Yep, yep, return. I've got that one. Yeah, that's all correct. Uh, first gate, first gate, plus one, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the next one should be first gate as well. So first gate, first gate. All right, so we changed that to final as well, just to get that to work. All right, so that's what we're going to do, just change 
that so click on it and set that to it okay now we've got no errors besides the one up there which was the integer one i was just wondering why that was giving us an error so i had to look over that quickly and make sure everything was correct it is correct it's just um this is being a bit silly at the moment okay so the next thing is we're going to go public static void enter uh obstacle pipe I'm going to do a final player, player, world ob, oops, object, and we want to do an object, open and close on that, and say if, all this is going to have if not agility stuff, okay, so it's just something you get used to, has level player 52, we want to return all right it's just saying if he doesn't have the level then we're not going to do nothing all right so the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to go player dot get y is equal equal to three nine three seven or uh player dot get y is equal equal to three nine three six right oh sorry three nine three eight and then we're going to open and close a bracket on that i'm going to go player dot lock and then we're going to go player whoops jeez don't do that player dot face object right on the object because that's what we're going to do and then we're going to go player dot add walk steps and just clear the inside of this for a sec because that's just really messy when it's like that so we've got walk step, it's meant to be steps. Okay, just make sure you got steps one. I click step by accident. So 3004, 3938, minus one and false. Okay, with a semicolon at the end or whatever. Right, now that we've done that, we want to go world tasks manager dot schedule. It's going to have a lot of this all the way through it. So world task and open and close curly bracket. Get down there, Bob, mate. All right, so now that Bob is down there, we're going to go override, right? And then we're going to go public void run, open and close. Once we've got that, we want to go player dot set next animation. And we're going to say new animation. And then we want to have the animation as 10580. And once we've got that animation, we want to do a stop command, open and close, boom. Okay, so now that we've got that, underneath two of these, we needed to do that and a one. Okay, now underneath this here, we need to do a world tasks manager dot schedule, right? I'm going to say that new world task, open and close and boom again, right? We have to do this all the time, which can be quite frustrating. Override public void run oops open and close bang now once we've got that override run we want to say if and we're going to ask wilderness dot is at wild on player okay so if it is on on player we want to open and close i want to say player dot set next world tile to new world tile oops world tile and we want to go three zero zero four three nine four eight zero all right once we've got two of those underneath the next curly bracket so underneath this one here we want to say player dot set next animation we want to say new animation all right and we want to say one zero uh, yeah, 10580. And underneath that, we need to do a stop, open and close, like that. All right. So that's what it's going to do. Now, once it's done that, we need to go down to, and we need to put right here. It needs to be this and a five, right? That will be that done. So underneath that one there, we have to do another world task. Yeah, world tasks manager dot schedule uh, new world task 
open and close curly bracket ball. All right, and then we want to say right underneath this one here, because this is the last one we have to do for this, player.getSkills. Oops. Player. Why are you not doing it, mate? That's fine. That's override. Uh, public void run. That was my bad. I don't know why I forgot to do the run method. Uh, now that we've got the run method, we want to go player dot get skills dot add xp. We want to do skills. Whoops. Skills dot agility. Once we've got skills dot agility, this is how we have to do the next part. So this is going to be pretty interesting. So do note before how we've done that increased xp. So we need to do that. We need to open up and we need to say player and give it 12.5. Okay. So that's how we're going to increase our XP. This is a simple way of doing it, right? And then once we've done that, we want to go if, and then we want to say wilderness dot is at wild. And we want to say on player, obviously, then open and close. And we want to say that we're going to teleport to the next location. So player dot set next world tile and not base world tile next world tile and we want to say new world tile I want to say three zero zero four three nine four nine zero All right And then underneath uh, this one here, we need to go set stage and then we want to say player zero. Okay. And then we're going to go player dot unlock. Right. So now that the character can, uh, sorry, the character can move and then we want to do the stop. And then underneath these two, we're going to do this and a six. Right. Now underneath two of these bad boys is when we're going to write the next one. So public static void. Sw swing on rope swing right and we're going to say final player player world object object open and close on that and once we've got down to that we're going to do the same thing that we did before so we're going to say if not agility dot has level player out of 52 then we're going to return and once we've done return we're going to say if and then we're going to say player dot get y is equal equal to 3958 so if we're at that coordination we're going to return and then we're going to player dot lock and we're going to lock for two All right once we lock for two we're going to go player dot set next animation we're going to say new animation and the new animation is going to be 751 all right and then underneath that we're going to go world dot send object animation yeah this is a good one so we need to do send object animation we're going to say player we're going to, oops not that we're going to say player object new animation and the new animation is going to be 497 right once we've done that we're going to say a final world tile to tile is equal to new world tile and we're going to say object dot get x three nine five eight object dot get plane and after we've done that we're going to close that off and then we're going to go player dot set next force movement i'm going to say new force movement right we're going to say player one two tile three and then we're going to say force movement dot north. Right. 
once that's done underneath that, we need to type in player dot get packets dot send game message. And inside this game message, you're going to say you skillfully, I don't know why, but you skillfully swing across. And then we say dot, and then we're going to put here with a true. Okay. Now that we've got that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to type in world tasks manager.schedule. We're going to say new world task. I open and close curly bracket. Okay, so now that we've got that, the next thing that we need to do is at override run. So override, and we want to do the public void run again. All right, open and close. Once we've got the public void run open, we need to say if get stage and we want to say player right we want to say is equal equal to zero then we want to go set stage player one so player one and then we want to go player dot set next world tile to tile okay Underneath this, we need to put that and a one, bang. Okay, so now that we've got that, we can actually work on doing stepping stones. So underneath this one here, we want to type in the following. Public void stepping stones, right? We're going to do a final player, player, final world object. Object. All right, open and close on that one. So that looks pretty nice. Now we're going to say if the agility thing again, so not agility, has level and player of 52, then we're going to return. And then we're going to say player.lock. Then we're going to say player.face object. Then we're going to also say that player.set next world tile equals new sorry but you know what i mean new world tile and the new world tile is three zero zero one three nine six zero zero right then we're gonna go player dot set next animation and we want to whoops we want to type in a new animation and the new animation is 741 and we want to open up that up there and that beautiful that didn't work because it was going to be a capital a all right so after that we need to do a world tasks manager dot schedule and we're going to say new uh world task yeah world task open and close on that once we've got the new world task there we want to do int jump stone right like that i'm gonna do an at override okay i'm gonna do a public void run open and close i'm gonna do this i'm gonna say if jump stone is equal equal to one right this part here is a bit of a tricky one so try pay attention it's pretty stupid so if wilderness dot is at wild then we want to say player right open and close and then we also want to say player oh why did i put it in that player dot set next what uh yeah next world tile so next world tile i'm going to say new world tile i'm going to open that up we want to say three thousand three nine sixty And then we're going to say zero. Okay. So once we got that, why did that do that? It's because I didn't put a capital T. All right. There we go. So once we've got that, all right. Oops. Underneath this bracket here, we need to do player dot set next animation. I'm going to say new animation and 741 being the animation again. And then we want to say player lock one. So player dot lock. And we want to put one. 
You can put one or two, but I just want to make it as one, right? One to me looks a bit better than two, okay? Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to say underneath this, if jumpstone is equal to two, three, four, five, and six. So just copy this second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, okay? Now, just change the numbers to the correct numbers. So just follow down three, four, five and six oh oops that's one and this would be a six sorry okay so what we'll do is we'll go through this quickly and i'll explain to you what we're going to do so the only thing that we've got to do between all of these codes now is go through the steps so this will drop one coordination at a time so this should be two triple nine this should be two double nine eight two double nine seven 2996 will be the next one. Right. And once we got to the 2996, we'll stay here for a few seconds and we're going to have to add a few more pieces of code. Okay. So, jumpstone five. What I want you guys to do is get rid of the if wilderness command and the bottom part here because we don't need that any longer. I'm going to go up here and we're going to say if. Uh, get stage and then we're going to say player right is equal to equal to one then set stage is equal equal oh sorry is equal to my lord sorry set stage we're going to say player and two because we need to set it to us okay so that we've done that control s to save make sure you've got this coordination here because that's where we've got to go you want the animation to be there the next thing before we do unlock, so get rid of this, get rid of, whoops, get rid of this. All right, we want to say unlock, so all you got to do is just change it to unlock like that. But before the unlock one, right, we need to type in the following, which is player dot, uh, what was it, dot set, uh, sorry, dot get skills dot add XP skills dot agility and then we want to say increase oops increase xp and we want to go player and give them 20 okay control s and save now on the number six delete this whole lot out of there right for now well actually don't delete this middle part here just click this delete this and we'll type in jump stone plus bus with that okay and inside this here get rid of this stuff and we're going to say jump stone right uh is equal to zero and then we want to do a stop right uh we've got a few little errors here let me fix this quickly so what we're going to do is do Oh, we've got an extra one of these. Just get rid of one of those, actually. Yep, cool. That's my bad. All right, so now that we've got that, I just had to fix that up quickly. Uh, that zero, that one. All right, control S and save. Now we can do the next part, which is a public static void. Uh, walk across log balance, right? And we're going to do a final player, player, open and close. Now, once we've got this uh, method open, you know, we're going to do the same thing. Or constructor or whatever you want to call it. I, I don't know. At the moment, I'm just, yeah, over it. Uh, agility dot has level player 52. Um, and then we want to do our return. We also want to do a player dot lock. And then we also want to do a player dot add walk steps right inside here we need to do two nine nine four and then we want to do three nine four five we also want to do a minus one and we also want to do a false right now that we've got that we're going to go player dot get packets dot send game message and inside this whoops uh, inside this message right 
we need to type the following. You walk carefully across the balance log. Dot, 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 dot. And then you want to put a true at the end of this. Oops, not per, true. Okay, so once we've got that, we need to type in on this line here, weld, yeah, you catched it, weld tasks manager dot schedule. And we want to say new weld tasks. Now inside the new weld tasks, we're going to do the same thing that we normally do. So in here, first of all, we need to type in a boolean, whoops, too many fire O's, boolean. And we go second loop, right? Inside that, we want to go down to go at override. So capital O, right? Override, we're going to do a public void run. And we want to do if, right? Not second loop. Right, we're gonna open and we're gonna go second loop is equal to true player dot gets appear appearance dot set render emote one fifty five. We also want to do an else. We're gonna say if get stage and then we want to say player right is equal equal to two then set stage and then we'll say player is three okay and then we'll say player dot get appearance dot set render emote and we want to say minus one we also want to say player dot get skills dot add xp and then we want to say skills dot agility and then we want to say increase XP. And then we want to say, sorry, we want to do that. We want to say player. And we want to give them 20 XP for that. All right. The next thing that we need to do is to get packets. So underneath here, we need to go player.get packets. Dots. Oh, not packets decoder, but packets. Dot. Uh, game so send game message inside the send game message I'm going to put three dots I'm going to say and make it safe safely to the other side and then we want to put a true uh, we want to do player dot unlock right and we want to do a stop and then down near here, like we normally do, we're going to do this, zero this again, and a five. Control S and save. Now we're up to the last part of this, and then we can work on object handling. So underneath this one here, we want to do a public static void. Climb, whoops. Climb, right? Cliff. We want to do a final. Pl oops, player, player, and yeah, world, object, object, open and close on that one. I'm going to say if not, oops, if not agility dot has level player of 52, then we want to return. Then underneath that, we're going to go player dot lock. And we want to say for 10. All right. We also want to do player dot set next animation. I want to say new animation. And we want to give it 3378. All right. Once we've got that animation in, we want to go player dot get packets dot send game. Whoops. Dot send game message. And inside this string, we need to type in you climb up the rock dot and then we want to put true not dot there mate true okay and once we've got that we need to do a weld tasks so oh, here we go again weld tasks manager dot schedule and cool it actually recorrected that caps oops schedule 
All right, once we schedule that, we want to type in here, new world. Yeah, world of tasks, open that, boom, 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 Bob's your uncle. All right, so now that we've got the new world task there, we need to do an at override a public void run. Open and close, bang. Once we've got that, we want to say final world tile to oops to tile right equals new world tile and then we're going to say 2995 3935 and a zero we're going to say if and then we want to say wilderness dot is at wild and we want to say player underneath this open and close bracket thing we need to go player dot set next well tile and then we'll say two tile right once we've done that we want to go player dot set next animation new animation we're going to do this and we want to say minus one because we've already declared an animation we're going to say int stage is equal get oh, get stage and we want to say player right i want to say if then i want to say stage is equal equal to three then this will happen so we're going to remove stage from the player so we're removing stages completely so we know where we are and we're going to say player dot get skills dot add xp and we're going to go skills dot agility and we want to say increase oops man if i could spell today increased xp um and then we want to say player 499 okay pretty sure that's right and then we want to do underneath this player dot unlock oh mate all right so he unlocks his player and then we want to do this and a five. Control S and save. Looks like we've got a few errors somewhere. That's not meant to be that. It's meant to be one. Make sure there's only one here at that. I must have pressed the key twice, but that's fine. All right. Looks like we've got a couple of more errors. Um. Give me two seconds for a sec. Oops, wrong one, dude. All right, give me two secs. I'm just gonna do this at schedule again. New world tasks, open and close, bang. Put that down, get rid of that for two seconds. There we go, that worked. All right, it was just, for some reason, it wasn't recognizing the code there correctly, which I don't understand why. Now for this here, we need to change to integer like that. I spelled integer wrong. Um, and this one here needs to be changed to integer.java. So that way it looks like that, integer. All right. I don't know why I spelled it wrong, but that's what it is. There we go. We've done that. That code there is working perfectly fine now. Now let's go into object handler. We're going to search for this or not that there, but not that either. Okay. Line 607 and we're gonna put this two slash lines type in wilderness agility start once we've done that. Now let's get into typing this, which is the last part of the code, then we can test it and boom, we should be good. Okay, so we're gonna say else if, right? Oops, not up there, mate. Not up there, what are you doing, bro? All right, so else if, and we wanna say ID is equal equal to 65362, right? Oops, we're gonna say not do that, what the? All right, we don't need to add that because that is absolutely dim-watered. We're just gonna say wilderness, uh, wilderness course agility dot, and the first thing that we wanna do is enter obstacle or enter, yeah, enter wilderness course on player, okay? So when we enter the wilderness course, we're actually gonna change the item ID for that quickly, sorry. 
we're going to put this as 65365. And then we're going to copy this right quickly. And I'll just show you why, because I'm going to make it so much simpler. We're going to change this to a 7 at the end. Right? And instead of enter, just get rid of this enter and type in exit. Right? So now we've done enter and exit. So that's the two things that we wanted to do. And they're straight out of the way. Easy as that. The next thing that we want to do is we could actually just copy this again. Right? Press enter. Change this item ID to 65362. Right? Get rid of the dot and all this section and put dot. Now the thing that we're going to type in is enter obstacle pipe. So player on whatever right now copy oh you don't need to copy that but we can do the same thing that we just did before so this next one is six four six nine six get rid of this ending part put dot and swing on rope swing then we want to paste again get rid of this item id and we're going to type in six four six nine nine so six four six double nine and then get rid of this part and we're going to put dot and we want to say stepping uh, oh stepping stones why is that not appearing give me two seconds there it is there public static i didn't put it as a static so public static void sorry make sure it's a public static void otherwise you can't access it in object handler um anyways it's always good to make sure you do things correctly. I just uh, sort of fumbled that one up. Okay, so the next one there that we're going to do is um, we've done stepping stone, so it's 64698. So 64698. And after stepping stones was walk across. So walk across the log, right? I'm going to paste it again, get the next item ID, which is 65, yeah six five seven three four and this one here is going to be um climb cliff right once we've done climb cliff we can control s and save so we've got enter exit enter the obstacle pipe swing on the rope stepping stones walk across the log and then the cliff now let's run this and we should be good as new let's have a look all right so let's jump into it it has been a very lengthy video and i'm sorry how long it's been but that's okay gives you guys a bit more content hopefully it's helpful now we're going to log in using the 123 123 like we normally do we're going to go in and have a crack now the coordination i'm standing at as well right now is three zero zero four three nine three five zero so just teleport to this location so we can test this code out and if we click on the pipe there you go works but there was a bit of delay that uh we can fix that's not a problem the main thing is long as it's actually working so that worked you got some xp for it it's running a bit fast but that's okay you can just tamper with like the um delays and stuff like that. I just got this actually working, so that's the main point. There's no like problems there. Look, it just does that, which it used to do that in old school, but you know, so if we do this, we're climbing up the rock, looking smit as, and there we are. So hopefully that was helpful guys, but we'll also do this. I'll show you that the animation on the gate's not working. I'm walking backwards. Why, why did it wait a second? Hold on a second here. Yeah, okay. He's just walking backwards from there to the bottom. So we're going to have to change the two coordinations quickly, which I'll show you what we'll do. Right? I thought I'd done that by mistake. Okay, so when we enter the gate, which we're going to find enter the gate. Right, enter wilderness course. We need to find the first gate second gate right um first gate x to y yet yeah, fourth move to second gate using yep cool he's force moving to the second gate 
is not force moving to the first gate. That should fix it, okay? And this should be second gate. Beautiful guys, hopefully that has helped. Um, I'm sorry about that little mess up right here, but you can test that out, it should work correctly. Uh, what it's saying is the player's set next world tile, like he's gonna be at this tile here that we're going to be at, so the second gate X and Y coordinations, and we're going to go you know, to that direction there, which would be going straight to, we're gonna force movement to the first gate, so he's gonna Go through these gates, go to the first movement gate, boom, goes through. Okay, negative and positive. This one here, I believe, should be a, a negative as well. Not a plus, but put it as a negative. Okay. Um, yeah, I am very, very sorry. But that, yep, that is correct. That is correct. Beautiful. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy.